Hey YouTube, Silver Scott back with another silver video. Uh, today showcasing a, a group of uh, silver rounds produced by the Royal Silver Company. And I think many of you know uh, the story of the Royal Silver Company. Actually, last week there were, there were two videos uh, that showcased the blue-throated macaw, uh, one by Mr. Vegeta and another by Seattle 206723. And that uh, kind of prompted me to go back digging into my uh, bullion collection and uh, thought at the request of uh, Mr. Vegeta that I would showcase uh, all of the silver rounds that uh, that Royal Silver Company produced. And, and again, you know, many of you are probably familiar with the story of this company, but uh, it, it's actually worth repeating for those of you that, that don't. The, the Royal Silver Company is actually based in Bolivia, uh, and they have a, a U.S. CEO, a fellow by the name of Brian McConnell, and their claim to fame is, is that they patented an extracting process, uh, essentially saying that uh, they were creating zero emissions, the, the world's only zero emissions smelter, refinery, and mint. And the result of that being uh, they were producing the highest level of purity uh, in both gold and silver. Uh, hence, you see the five nines uh, of purity uh, embossed on their, their silver coins. So, the, you know, the, the question has been, you know, what, what's happened to the Royal Silver Company? They, they definitely ran into a lot of problems over the last couple of years. In fact, their, their website is still active. So if you go to royalsilvercompany.com, you will definitely be able to access uh, their website. Don't know if it's been updated uh, recently. All the information on it appears uh, to, to, to be old. So uh, a lot of their coins uh, are available on the secondary market, some a little bit easier to obtain than, than others. Uh, but I would definitely not try to to purchase anything from their website. Uh, what they actually were doing, another unique aspect of this company was, they were actually selling memberships uh, in what they had deemed the Royal Silver Club. And essentially how it worked is, is that you would send the Royal Silver Company $5,000. Uh, they would send you back a essentially a printed bond. And uh, the bond was good for two years you could uh, pull out your money at any time, supposedly, and at the end of two years, if you were to stay in the program, they would refund your money. The catch being, they would send you interest in the way of these silver rounds, one a month. So the thought being, you know, as the price of silver went up, you know, that you could actually uh, make out ahead uh, while accumulating uh, five nines of ni uh, five nines of purity. Uh, silver rounds. As I mentioned, they ran into a lot of difficulty with uh, supplying and, and shipping. And, and many people requested to get their money back. Uh, many of them didn't. Uh, some of them did. So really, don't kind of don't know where this stands at at this point. But uh, nonetheless, it was an interesting story. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of stories on uh, silver blogs uh, can be found online related to the company. But the bottom line is they, they actually produced uh, a very nice silver round. Uh, the first one being the Andean cat. And you can see here very much proof-like in appearance that the strikes are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, they actually made an Andean cat in 2010. And this one is from 2011. And all of these I was able to pick up in the secondary market. Uh, actually, a shout out to Stock Jockey because I believe he actually helped ac me acquire some of the more difficult ones. Here is the blue throated macaw. And again, you can see that the detail on these really incredible for silver round. And again, you could see the five nines extra fine silver and the blue throated macaw was produced in 2011 as well. And then some of the ones I think uh, that are not as well known is this one here, this Leoncito monkey. Uh, this is actually a, a little monkey that's found in South America that, that's actually the size of your thumb. This particular issue was only made available to those individuals that bought into the Silver Bond Club that I mentioned previously. 
So these were actually very, very difficult to come by. Uh, by the way, they were only going to sell 400 memberships. Ultimately, I don't know how many they wound up selling, but this one is from 2012. Uh, this one very hard to find, so I bet you this one would kind of fetch a nice a nice premium at, at this point. And again, pretty nice looking. And then one I like quite a bit is the Anaconda. Again, they tried to theme this uh, to animals that were indigent to the South American population, and I think their plan was uh, to reinvest a lot of, uh, of their profits uh, into protecting a lot of these, these animals. Here is the Anaconda. Pretty neat. They also produced these in gold as well. And this one from, from 2012. So that's it. Just wanted to kind of uh, showcase these after some popped up on some videos last week. Pretty interesting stuff. Hope you enjoyed this little review of uh, what probably is now the defunct Royal Silver Company. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you all again real soon. Bye now.